Hello, it's Dr. Alex Popovich and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be looking at the new application for writing called Craft. Is this an application that could be a contender for Ulysses or Rome Research or even for Notion? So let's dive in into this short brief about this application and have a look. This is the Craft website and it's craft.do and this is where you download the application. The application is only for Mac, iOS and iOS. It does not work on uh, Windows platforms or Android platforms. And it's a very clean website. Um, and basically, the way to me this reads is that they want to be a contender to Obsidian or Rome Research a little bit more than perhaps Notion or Ulysses. So I have downloaded this application and I have played with it for a few days to see what it feels like, what it looks like. And to be honest, it's very easy to use. Um, and it's also a very pretty application. So this is the brief video from the makers of how to use it. And uh, it does work like that on the iPad. I've mostly played with it. Um, on my Mac, because this is where I do majority of my writing, not on my iPad. Uh, but it is very easy to use and insert things and move between the two documents. These are my um, documents that I've created briefly, and this is one that I've imported from Rome Research. And you can import your documents into Craft, uh, but as I don't have a paid account, you can only import one or two or three documents at a time. And if you copy or paste as well, it will not uh, copy and paste the backlinks. So I had this as a hashtag and it didn't work. So here, what you have to do, for example, if you want to do this, what you have to do to link things, it's it and then literature. And if you already have the document, for example, this is what it's going to come up as. The double brackets don't work as a linking thing in um, craft. Kind of they do, but kind of they don't in some ways. So I've linked this page to uh, this document where I was just playing with it. And if I want to open it, um, I can just go into this arrow. And to start with, what I do like is seeing this kind of preview. So we'll go into that page and I'll show you how the application works. The application works probably a little bit closer to Notion when you think about it, because it uses these basically blocks. Um, that you can either drag and add, or you just push enter and it will add it. And you just start writing. And it will do a block. You can also insert code or formula or a text line or a photos from, from the, um, your computer. And it's very, very easy. Um, what this has advantage in comparison to Notion is the way that you can format your document, um, that you can um, very quickly insert things like to-dos or um, format it um, in different ways or add colors or a different font as well. So to see how I've done this area here, if you want to do that, so you just click on it and then you undo this focus button, okay? And this is the block button. So now it doesn't look like that, but if I wanna uh, kind of emphasize it a little bit more, I can put that, and if I even wanna focus it, I can do that. Um, if I want to a card, um, which is here, I just uh, basically choose few styles, and the styles are limited in unpaid version, or free version, um, but let's say I'll put that one and that one, and apply the style, and I can also change the style through here. I 
can't apply that one. I can just do this one That's and apply it. And this is kind of like a, a new page or a new card um, within or gallery type stuff in the notion within this page. Um, you can also add different pages into it, similar to Notion. So I could uh, group uh, a, a page, um, either I can link it um, by adding different um, uh, uh, stuff into here, or I can just add a new one. Um, and that way you can group things, as I said, a bit similar to Notion. If you want to do a linked or backlinks, similar to how it works in the Rome research, you'd basically put it and this starts writing whatever you want to. Like, and it will create a link to that new document. I have tried to do like a task manager thing for it to do. Uh, page or to-do page um, and it says that I have few to-dos linked to this video um, uh, a file um, as well as journaling file. So I can go and have a look at it. I can open this document or I can see approximately what that part is but I cannot filter. I cannot filter any, any way um, these pages. I can um, when I put today, it doesn't recognize what day it is. It just makes a page word today. If I want to add, uh, let's say tomorrow's page in or a date and I'll choose tomorrow, it will put a tomorrow's date on it and it's open the page kind of with it, but it doesn't link the documents to that page if you just put a date. I have to make a page with that name and create it. Um, now it's done it as a block, but it hasn't done kind of like a new page. Now, if I go onto it, I will see the link to it. So to me, this is a bit of a limitation in comparison to Rome research. The other things that you can do um, here is um, you can show a cover image, you have to slide it on. On default, it's off. And if you want to add it, you can actually import it from files or from Unsplash, similar to Notion. You can add different fonts and you can see the, the different ways that the view can look like, like a wide page or a regular page. Um, this is some of the actions that you can perform in a different document. And this is the export version that you can do and which kind of uh, applications you can send it to. So if we go to the different plans that they have, they have two pricing options, the pre free one, uh, which is a personal uh, and a professional. Um, the team one is coming soon. And the difference basically between the pr uh, personal and professional is that you only have very limited amount of blocks. And when you start writing thousand blocks, it's not actually, it's not a lot, as I've noticed from Notion when it used to be a paid um, application. Um, it um, doesn't have any search within a documents in a free one, um, and it can export it into a limited amount of um, um, applications or documents. Mostly it's just in the limited PDF. Um, and you can't have those card effects that we wanted uh, before. This is much more of a kind of a comparing the two different plans. And also your storage is very limited. So one gigabyte for the personal and for professional for uh, 10 gigabytes. Um, if you start importing videos and stuff like that to keep an eye on it, um, you basically will probably soon run out of um, uh, that storage. Also, your version history is only 30 days for professional and personal doesn't have a version history at all. You also have a limited number of backlinks and the cards that you can insert into each document. So how does this compare to Notion? As I said, with the date, you can add the date, but you can't that easily link it or you can easily make a mistake. 
you cannot add tables or databases so you cannot use this as your personal management system or knowledge management system or it's much more pretty application when it comes to color palettes and uh, cards uh, um, insertion and seeing the document and you have more option to export the document than you do in the notion to me if i had to compare it to notion this is much more like a journaling or writing app not and the notion to me is more as a personal management system so for me i wouldn't be rushing to go and replace notion with craft how does it compare to rome research and this is where probably there are more similarities um, and especially when it comes to backlinks uh, but when it does come to backlinks, it's a bit more limited than what you can do in the Rome research. So in Rome, you can sort your backlinks. You can see the unlinked um, references that you haven't yet linked, but that um, it finds that they possibly they should be linked. Um, it is much prettier and easier to use in some ways than Rome research. And it also has a folder options. What I mean by that is you can add folders up here in your kind of main uh, view pages. There is no graph as yet that you can organize to see your links between different documents. It's all done within a page uh, as such. So probably in some ways you could put them in a similar folders than you can that easily do in the Rome research. But it's still when you start having lots of folders, you might not find the backlinks that easily uh, and you have to do it manually. In the Rome research you can also do much more task management and project management than you can in craft. When it comes to um, Rome research I probably wouldn't replace Rome yet with this application. Rome is much more expensive but at this stage it gives you much more options especially if you want to use Rome research instead of uh, your task management and project management. So how does this um, compare to a program like Ulysses? And this is probably what this application is most similar to and possibly has some advantages to Ulysses is because of these backlinks. Um, it looks very pretty. You can add cards, you can add pages within the pages, which you can't necessarily do in Ulysses. Um, the only thing for me is you cannot connect reference manager system to this application. Um, you might not need to, um, but this is possibly the advantage of Ulysses for someone like me. In conclusion, Craft is a very easy and pretty application to do if you're going to use it for writing and journaling. If you want to use it more as a personal management system, then this is not your application, or at least not yet. If it wants to compare itself to Notion and Rome Research, it's not there yet, but it has some advantages when it comes to comparison between this and Ulysses for people who do certain types of writings and journaling. Thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now.